Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I have for you today episode 4.11 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. This episode 4.11 is entitled Beelzebub. The commentary goes like this. The word Beelzebub is from Hebrew. Baal, that's B-A A-L, or B-A apostrophe A-L, means Lord, and Zebub, C-E-B-U-B, -E means fly, an insect called a fly. This is another name for Satan. In other words, it means Lord, fly. It is true, Satan can fly, and like flies, he is rather annoying and seems to be all over the place just as we are anticipating a good feast. I don't know why it is, but when I, I'm in the midst of one of these um, videos, a lot of times when I talk seriously about Satan, I find uh, that flies come around and start start zooming around and, and just... It seems like they're interested. I, I realize this is far-fetched, but it could be something about the discussion of Satan and the demonic realm appeals to flies or is on the same wavelength with flies, you know? Maybe because they're attracted to the smell of carrion, decaying flesh, I just... Uh, there's something about it, there's that connection and that, that name for Satan, Beelzebub, Lord Fly, or some say Lord of the Flies. The first image I have for you, a striking image called Black Horsefly, Tabanus atratus, from my hometown, Upper Marlboro, Maryland, by USGS Bee Inventory and Monitoring Lab from Beltsville, USA. The date is 26 August 2013. It was in Wikimedia Commons and it looks like this. Here's a fly. You can imagine. What if Satan really looked like that? Wouldn't that be something? I know it's a little weird, but in the middle of the face of the fly I see an image of, that looks a little uh, human-like and which could be taken to look a little like an image of Satan. You know, it's hard to see the top part here. Draw that mark up for you. The comment I have on this picture of the black horsefly. Well, I remember the horseflies lurking in the trees at the edge of the field I had to cross to get to my grandmother's house as a child. I recall how they would buzz insistently round my head. How useless were my attempts to shoo them away. How painful the sting of the horsefly was and how it raised a welt where it bit. I'm amazed to find that this photo was taken in my hometown, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. The next image I have for you is also quite striking. It's called The Great Red Dragon and the Beast from the Sea by one of my favorite mystical artists, William Blake, whom I knew in my childhood uh, from books that I found in the library and could not believe my good luck in finding them. The date of this image is 1805 and it's from Wikimedia Commons, as are, I believe, all of William Blake's works and so it's in the public domain. It is an image of a naked, looks like a man with horns on his head with many other heads, a multi-headed man, but it's, it's not as indiscreet as it otherwise might be. Beneath him is another multi-headed being that seems to be rising up from the sea. Uh, and it looks like this. It's a, it's a very famous uh, artwork.
The comment is, some say the great red dragon as depicted by William Blake in this painting is Satan. So, the great red dragon here, some say, is Satan, this being here, not the, not the being beneath it. Others feel he is the demonic entity Beelzebub, Lord of the Flies. So some say that this, the top being in this image is Satan, and others call it Beelzebub, or Lord of the Flies. I associate this image with the catastrophic childhood case study of the man I nickname Castray Trucks Basil Vampire because of the stories about him that sift through the astral airs. Is it a glam or is it a person in real life? Likely no one will ever know. If you should meet a man that reminds you of the great red dragon, I suggest more than the usual amount of social distance just to be on the safe side. You can find out more about Beelzebub and about this catastrophic childhood case study called Castrate Trucks Basal Vampire at my website, Awakening with Planet Earth. That's https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. And when you get there, you can search for these three articles. The titles are Image Words, colon, Beelzebub, comma, Lord of the Flies. The second is Alice's Perilous Tales, colon, The Man with the Trembling Pinky, end quote. And the last is, quote, Compendium, colon, Catastrophic Childhood Case Study, colon, Castray Trucks, hyphen, Basil Vampire, end quote. Those are fun reads, I feel. A stretch of the imagination, definitely and a walk on the dark side because sometimes the light worker will encounter phenomena, perilous stories, perilous tales that, that are very difficult to or impossible to explain in terms of modern society. One has to go back to the old ways, to the old understandings of light and the dark and spiritual warfare in order to interpret the types of perilous tales that are described in my blog, Awakening with Planet Earth. Things that I've experienced over the years and that I hope you will not experience, but should you, you can turn to my catastrophic childhood case studies and get a notion of the types of energies that you might encounter uh, here on Earth as a light worker and that you might need to distance yourself from. The type of thing that uh, you need to distance yourself from physically in order to be certain that you can stay in physical form because here on earth there are beings who appear to be human but who are more like reptiles or insects or demons who are more under the influence of the dark in this way or that than other humans who adhere to social values. Yet they look the same, and yet they may act in such a way as to imperil your physical life. So a light worker is, in essence, a very uh, heartfelt person. But a light worker, I feel, must also be sagacious, discriminating, and able at a glance to distinguish between the light and the dark in every being he or she encounters here on Earth. So 
I urge you just go to my blog, Awakening with Planet Earth, and check out the Perilous Tales. There's, there's a category called Perilous Tales to see the types of dangers that I have encountered on physical Earth over the years and the types that you will need to steer clear of if you may. And also check out the catastrophic childhood case studies so that you can get a notion of the energies that you may sense in other beings, seemingly human, but perhaps glommed in some way or temporarily dangerous, whom you must avoid. And that will keep you safe from Beelzebub and all his ilk. Well, God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.